Hey guys, it's Shana Night Paladin and welcome back to my channel. Today's a bonus video day and this is the first time I've actually recorded, edited, and uploaded all on the same day. This is mainly because I just wanted to get this thing out of the way and I wanted it out. Actually, I wanted it out Wednesday, Tuesday. But I've been playing God Eater Resurrection with a friend and it just kind of ate up all of my time. And I just wanted to keep on playing and not draw but I, I forced myself to do it. I needed to draw. So here it is. So this is sort of like a participation challenge thing. Um, Jai's Artarama YouTube channel, which is an art supplier in the US. It's something like, you know, a place where you buy your art supplies. Because it's a thing there in the US where you can just buy purely art supplies. Well, it's a thing here too, but it's not, not as much. Not as big at the very least. Um, and they have this little challenge where, based on a theme, you can do certain things. So the theme for this month or this week, I'm not sure when, how often these challenges are. The theme for this is um, art supply hoarding. Basically, you buy an art material, like a sketchbook, maybe colored pencils, etc. And you never use them because maybe you're afraid of them, maybe you're feeling guilty that they're so expensive and you don't want to use them or because they look so pristine and you don't just don't want to ruin that beautiful packaging and all that. And uh, the, the truth aspect is that you can post in their comments what are the materials you've bought and what you have that you never used or very very rarely use or the dare which is this thing is actually using said materials. And the thing is you can win like art supplies and stuff like that and but I do want art supplies. The challenge seemed fun and I just wanted to participate to be honest. I wouldn't mind win winning though. I'd love some new art supplies. And possibly not hoard them. We'll see. So, uh, what we are. So the materials I'm using is a Moleskin sketchbook. This is the classic notebook that everyone went crazy over like four years ago. And what the pencils that the pencils that I'm using are their went ink tense pencils. These are water soluble ink pencils, not watercolor pencils. And I'm using a water brush, which I've used before as well in my videos. And that's pretty much it. So the reason that I'm using these materials is because I've only started using my moleskin actively this year. Uh, it was part of my New Year's resolution that. I would draw at least one drawing per month in the moleskin so it was just for me to get over the how precious and how guilty I feel about it because for me I'm just a hobbyist I'm not even that good to be honest and I'm not like the other people that you see on here that are like A plus artists no I'm just someone who just likes to draw and I felt guilty when I first got this from my parents and I barely used it. I had like six drawings from 2012 to 20 until December 2015. So I had to push myself to use it at least once a month. The day went, I got at the same time. They were both Christmas parents back in 2012. Like imagine how long that have been in my closet. And I was just very not used to colored pencils or water soluble pencils and the Derwent ink tents kind of intimidated me in the sense that they're super permanent. The moment they dry, it's there. You can't reactivate, you can't cover up, or it's harder to get around them. And the way they act is very different from watercolored pencils or even just from plain watercolor. So I didn't know how to use them. I felt afraid that I would screw up every time I used them. And I've only used them like thrice in my small skin sketchbook and that's over over a course of four years. <music> Among all the materials that I have in my little shelf area, these are the ones that I feel the most afraid of using because A they're expensive and B they seem very high fine art for someone like me. Yeah, basically, I'm hitting two birds with one stone with this video. One is my September New Year's resolution sketch, and the second is the JS Artagama Truth or Dare thing. So, I guess I got lucky. <laughs> it was really funny because I thought it was only August 31st when I was recording this. Apparently, it's already August 1. Uh, no, September 1. 
Uh, and I only finished it today, September 2, because I let the ink dry overnight and all that jazz. I really had a hard time actually trying to find what to draw. I didn't have a particular theme in mind. I didn't really, I didn't really feel like I wanted to draw. I just wanted to play God Eater, to be very honest. But I wanted to participate, so I kept on sketching various things on a different notebook for a while. Just sketching thumbnails, and I kind of wanted to draw hair. I've been really mm, fascinated with the way. You can draw hair and how it would look and what kind of feel it would give to a piece if I draw it in this way, if I draw it like super flowy, or if I draw it in a connected manner, or how what would happen if I draw it in a rigid manner. So that's where it started. And I want for some reason I've been wanting to draw water themed things lately. So I went with the sort of beach river hangout picture. So that's basically it. The thing with these ink pens pencils, as I mentioned, they are they work very differently from other mediums that I'm used to, like watercolor or even oils and acrylic. I've had an easier time trying to cope with those over this. Uh, the thing is that when you lay down your first your first base coat of color, so for example the yellow in the hair, it's a little bit hard to color over it. Um, in the same layer so I think the technique that you should do is to let the first base coat layer dry I mean liquefy it first I mean dissolve it first with water let it dry and then that's when you put the shadow layer on with your second coat because that makes application a lot easier and also since I don't have a really actually no I don't have a skin tone in this 24 set I ended up using a normal colored pencil to color in the skin and the reason I did choose a colored pencil over watercolor pencils because I kind of screwed up a few months back using a co using colored pencils on my moleskin and it really just scratched the paper, it didn't really look good so I was afraid to use colored pencils on the moleskin after that but I thought now's good a time as any to try them again with some new techniques that I learned from watching various art youtubers here and the way that I use colored pencils are a bit different from back from like three, four months ago against how I use them now. So it did turn out okay, it didn't scratch the paper. And it applied decently. I didn't use the cotton bud method though since I didn't really need it. I didn't need it to blend with anything, so it was fine. As you can see I'm kinda nervous doing this. Um, it's because I'm not really used to this supply and the way that it acts. I don't know if it's because of the moleskin being really slippery and um, yeah, it's very smooth and slippery that unlike with watercolor paper or normal paper, the ink or the pigment doesn't dry up or it doesn't, the way that it spreads, it spreads a lot. Um, unlike with normal paper, once you kind of swish the pigment around, it, it's, it sets down rather evenly. But with this, it was a little bit, um, I had to work on it a little bit. Originally, my color scheme was supposed to be green and blue. I don't know what happened. I forgot to do the green, I think, and ended up doing pink and brown instead, and yellow. I guess you can tell I didn't really plan properly for this particular drawing. Again, it is a little bit forced, so... YouTube doesn't flag my video though, since even though I'm not monetized or anything right now, I hope it doesn't get taken down for like sexual content just because she's wearing a bikini or anything. So good thing I'm not monetized since that seems to be the issue today and yesterday that people's videos are getting taken down or their monetization aspect 
or is getting taken away because advertising problems to be honest no one really cares about the ads here on youtube i'll be very honest as a constant viewer of channels myself i don't really care about the ads i just skip them anyway i hope you guys enjoyed um please like or maybe subscribe even if you enjoy this stuff follow me on thunder instagram and deviantart and i will see you tomorrow because there's another video